Hello Scorpios and welcome to Thomas's tarot page. We're looking at the month of March 2022. So what we will do in this little video here <clears throat> is we will divide the, the reading into sections. So this makes it a bit easier um, just to get, get a bit more clarity. So we're looking at the overall energy for the month of March 2022 for the star sign of Scorpio. And from there we will then move on to your emotional core just see what comes in with regards to um, any healing that has to be done or maybe there's love coming in, that kind of stuff. And then lastly, we will look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of March for 2022 for the sign of Scorpio. Please like, subscribe and share because it really does help me to grow the channel. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash Medium Thomas, that's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. <coughs> Just need a sip. <laughs> Here we go. Scorpios, are you ready? Let's have a look at the overall energy for Scorpios for the month of March 2022. You have the dancer of lies and the spirit of healing. So, that sounds harsher than, <clears throat> than it is meant. The Dancer of Lies literally tells you to look at how do you truly feel. Whatever still sits inside you that reminds you of times where people were, were blatantly lying to you, where you have been deceived, where you were taken for a ride, all that kind of stuff. That's what the guides want you to just... Let run through your system, because you have the spirit of feeling, and just let it go. <clears throat> now, the way this normally works is, now that they told you that, um, <laughs> energetically speaking, they want to let go of the damage that was done to you when you, when you felt lied to, that does not mean you have to go through it all again and recall all of these incidences. Just allow yourself to feel... Why am I feeling so down? Why is my self-esteem low? And then understand that it is partly because people took you for a ride, lied to you, deceived you, which unfortunately happens to all sentient beings, if that makes sense. <clears throat> so it's not a Scorpio thing. All they're saying is you have the spirit of healing for the month of March. This is the month for the sign of Scorpio to allow yourself a lot of downtime. Allow yourself a lot of time to actually release pain, right? And recharge your batteries. <coughs> Excuse me. Short and sweet, really, Scorpios. And like I said, it sounds much harsher than it is meant. It just means, you know, you need to take time out sometimes to look at your healing. And the reason why this is happening now is because it is March, which is by default Pisces months. And Pisces is governed by Neptune. Now, Neptune is literally the, the job of Neptune is to um, bring spiritual awareness to you, make you look at your depth, understand how versatile your being actually is, but also understand that the moment, which is the, the dancer of lies here, um, the moment you know you haven't done nothing wrong, and yet were harmed, um, that will also come up when you look at your emotional core, which is what happens when you really look at the fact that you are a spiritual being in a physical body. Right? So March, by default, is a very emotional month, <coughs> simply because we are in Piscean energy. Right? And all they're saying is, don't fight it. It's there for a reason. It's here to get you through that healing phase, um, right? <clears throat> so that the rest of the year is not so difficult, right? That was just the overall energy for the star sign of Scorpio. We're looking at the months of March 2022. You are watching Thomas's Tower Page. Please like, subscribe, and share. And if you like my work, you can buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now, let's have a look at your emotions, right? Your emotional core. You have the shaman of birth and the spirit of wisdom. 
when it comes to love when it comes to committing to relationships you have the shaman of birth what that means is <clears throat> it is important that you don't repeat old patterns that haven't really worked for you shaman of birth means you know look at what it is you really want and give birth to it manifest it allow it to come into fruition allow it to come into your reality by not putting up this crap really really important because the outgoing energy that you have with regards to your emotions is the spirit of wisdom which means you know when you're in the wrong place you know if you are with the wrong partner you know where things aren't quite working and all the guides are saying is then make changes so that the energy overall gets higher and that you truly can receive the love you deserve right <clears throat> here we go <coughs> scorpio seems to be quite a um, an emotional month um for you in march anyway let's have a look at the opportunities as to present themselves to you in the months of March or for the months of March 2022. Interesting. You have the spirit of family and the dancer of joy. Right. So while this is an emotional month and you have the spirit of family, what they're really saying to you, while you may not be best friends with everybody in your family, right? You have nonetheless choose you nonetheless chose to be born into this family and it would make a lot of sense for you this month <coughs> to look at all the good memories you have from your family and also have a look at your ancestry have a look at your um, your family tree and just look for for positivity in your in your bloodline as it were because you have the dancer of joy what they want you to experience when it comes to recalling and recollecting anything that has to do with family is to see which parts bring you joy right so this month only focus on the positives should you be a person should you be a scorpio that feels you know my family is a bunch of bricks <laughs> right and i don't want to talk to them then remember you have that right right because this month family anything to do with family should really only bring you joy right so make sure <coughs> you address what doesn't bring you joy so it can be changed <coughs> maybe have a heart to heart with whoever makes you feel less that's what i'm getting <coughs> um and other than that look at maybe reflect on why why have i decided to be born into this <laughs> right what are the pros that um, the energy of my bloodline, you know, uh, both um, parents' bloodline, you know, um, can actually bring to your being, right? So when you reflect on, on family and they're looking at the spirit of family, who were you actually born into, right? Assess it, but assess it with the aim of enjoying what you see so don't go back into memories <clears throat> that are already tainted right does that make sense look at stuff um re recall stuff that was really positive right short and sweet for scorpio that's all i got you are watching thomas's tarot page please like subscribe and share and i see you all next month Bye -bye.